Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with what I've melted for the last about week and a half now. Um, you're going to have to bear with me while things are such a cluster fuck. <laughs> my kids are out of school for the next month. My fiance has been in and out of work because although he works in a warehouse working logistics um, and his job is very much needed, they have run into a slow spot. He was working almost 50 hours a week for the last two weeks. And then this week he's barely had, today's Wednesday, and he's barely had not even 10 hours for the week. So just finding time to sit down and record really <laughs> has not been working. So I am up before my kids trying to get this done. And so I will try to get a video done every week and maybe a week and a half before I get another one done. It's just been so hectic right now. I do have a haul or two I still need to upload. So I'll take care of those while I'm having a little bit of downtime. I will have a couple hauls coming in. I know Super Tarts is diligently trying to pour the band bags from the uh, bakery pre-order. Pre I ordered a lot during that. I did some of those shapes and then I did a bunch of band bags. And that I think she said they should be shipping this week or early next week. Um, I did order two loaves from Sassy Girl from her pre-order the end of beginning of March end of February, beginning of March. Um, and those will be here tomorrow. So I should be able to haul those. And then I think I do have, I know I have super tarts coming just about every week, week and a half. I know she's had to downsize, like delay production a little because she, they're only having one person at the warehouse at one time. So instead of doing double the work at once, they're having to do shifts. So I know things are going to be a little bit delayed there. Um, other than that, I have the Mario pre-order from Rose Girls, which should be shipping within the next two, three weeks. And then just Super Tarts. I've been ordering Super Tarts just about every week because she's been restocking stuff that I'm out of or low on with my favorites. So I've been just focusing on those. Um, so today is March 25th. It's Wednesday. So there's only a few more days left in March. I'm going to empty out my basket and I'm going to fill it for April with partials. You're going to see partial clamshells, partial, partial scent shots, um, cut up pieces that only have one, two, three melts in them, etc. And that's what I'm going to focus on in April. Pretty much doing like a project use it up. So anyways, before I ramble too much longer, I'm just going to show you guys what I have gone through. So first thing I have is from Sassagra Roma Pink Chiffon Tidy Whiteys. It's Pink Chiffon All Washed Up Downy Blue Coin Wash. I love the scent. I really like coin wash by itself, but I really love downy blue and then I really like um, pink chiffon. So I thought this would be a really good blend. I do cut these in about two or three pieces for my bathroom. It is a very strong laundry blend, so I have to do just a little bit at a time. I've also been working on my Orchid Rain. This is another thing I'll be putting in my April basket is a lot of my old 2018 and 17 stuff. I do have a goal in April as much as I want to melt through my new stuff I just got. I really need to finish the old stuff. So I have some 2017 and 18. So those will be thrown in my April basket too as part of my project use it up. Oh, not everything I got in 2018 will be in there, but like the early 2018 and late 2017 will definitely be put in there. Um, this is an amazing scent. It is a little bit rainy and a little bit florally. It's just a really good blend for the bathroom. Just nice and fresh. This you'll see in my April basket. It is Marsali Strawberry Raspberry Guava Blonde Moment Coconut Cream from L3. This is from 1229 of 17. So Robert swears to God that there is grape in this and there is not. Because Blonde Moment is like, isn't it champagne, raspberry, and lemon, I think. And then strawberry, raspberry, guava, and then coconut creams. But he swears it smells like grapes, so I don't know. There is um, a little less than half, maybe closer to a third left. So I did melt this in every room the other day, so I am trying to work through that. From Teddy Bees, I did I Love You Very Much. This one is Strawberry Fluffy White Cake Jasmine Roses Gardenia Lavender Whipped Cream. This is a little too floral for me. I will finish it, and I think I have maybe one more of this. I thought the strawberry and the cake would make it a little bit more bakery-ish but that floral is just way too heavy for my taste anyway from dessa's i've also been working through dashing through the snow and this one is fresh fallen snow shimmering pine crisp bay leaf warm winter woods hint of cinnamon this one i've been doing in my bathroom it is primarily like a pine type scent um and that winter woods 
even though it is from 2019, I am trying to get through some of my winter stuff because I really don't want to carry a whole lot over. I'd rather just buy fresh later in the year. Um, however, if I like this, I would not carry over because it's a partial, but like the other partials I ha or the other full scent shots I have from her from winter, I will probably carry over to next year. All right, then from Rose Girls, I did some more Baby Luma's Rocky Road Cupcakes with Cherry Frosting. Again, this smells like one of those, like, a cherry blow pop. That's what I get from it. This will go in my April box because there's only a few melts left. I enjoy it, but it's not one that I would purchase again. From Wicked Wax Studio, I have Soak Up the Sun, which is vanilla sandalwood cream, salt, and jasmine. I did this in the bathroom. It was a really nice scent. It performed very well, and it smelled really good, like a nice, fresh scent for the bathroom from teddy bees i did some more lavender honeydew lavender vanilla coconut milk honeydew melons fresh linen i do half of a cube at a time because this is a strong scent and these cubes are huge so i do half a cube at a time in my bedroom when i melt it at night really really good blend i really like this one this one i do prefer over um alice in slumberland from rose girls but if i couldn't get this i would get alice in slumberland the difference between them is the linen. Um, this one has more of a lavender honeydew laundry type blend. The laundry is very faint, but you can still smell it. All right, and then I did some more Sassy Girl Roma Sally Sells she's Seashells, which is Beach Night Cantaloupe Strawberry Peach Birthday. I only have two more cubes of this. This is a very nice blend. I love this so much. Um, this is one that I will need to repurchase when I can find it again. And then from Sassy Girl, I also did Tea with the Dames, which is tea and cakes, blackberry jam, butter cookies, cotton candy, sweet lavender. I, do don't, I don't do this at night because the tea and cakes really overpowers everything. So to me, it's not a bedroom, bedtime type scent. Uh, but I do melt it everywhere in the house. Not to say I don't do it in the bedroom, but I don't do it at bedtime. Um, this I got as an extra in a D stash. It is Pink Bubblegum Crush from Candles by Victoria. Um, this came to me, I got three, it came to me with one, quarter missing so I did put a quarter in my living room yesterday this threw me out of the house this literally that one quarter blew from the living room into the dining room so the living room is through this area right here it blew into here and in my bedroom's around the corner and I could smell it faintly in my bedroom I'm not really a fan of this scent though so that was kind of disappointing but it performed very well the Overlook Hotel from That Small Good Shop, Lemon, Lavender, Lin, Fresh Linen. Robert really likes this scent. This is one he wants me to, he asked me to get it in a loaf. I said she doesn't make loaves and he said, oh darn. I said, well, I can get the biggest, like the biggest pack. I think it's the nine ounce or something like that um, of these cubes. So the next time I do a custom with her, probably later this year, I will take care of that and get a couple of these huge packs. He loves this scent. He loves lemon and linen. He loves laundry. I asked him yesterday. He got home from work early because they've been shut down early. I said, what do you want? He said, La laundry. I said, okay. So I grabbed a handful of laundry. This was his pick. It is an amazing scent. You don't really get a lot of the lavender. It's mostly the lemon and the linen. All right. The last thing I did not finish this week is lavender orange sherbet from Teddy Bees. This reminds me of lavender orange cream from or Lavender Orange Dream from Super Tarts. Very similar. I did order a band bag in Lavender Orange Dream, so that's good because this I'm almost out of. All right, now onto what I finished, and not a lot, but I've really been trying to melt a lot of things. Like, if I melt something, I've been trying to melt it in every room so I don't have as much of variety because I'm trying to finish stuff up. Um, so you have to bear with me. So the first thing I finished is a Scentsy Bar in Beach. So this one I've had for quite a while. Um, the scent notes are papaya and honeydew sweetened with a hint of coconut milk. I really like this scent. I think my mom has a bar or a partial bar in this. Um, and she pretty much left a bunch of her wax and told me that I could use it. So I will be grabbing that because this is an amazing summer type blend. It was already missing, I think, two cubes. And I went ahead and just melted it throughout the week. From Empire Alchemy, I had the sample in Upside down pineapple cake fruity pebbles i did not get much from this um i got a hint of the pineapple cake and then it died out very quickly which i've not real i've not had any experience with empire alchemy but i've heard that's unusual for her so i don't know candles from the keeping room wabari vanilla sugar cone this was there was a little two two little round little pie shapes they were little so i did one in the living room one in the bedroom or 
one in the living room, one in the kitchen the other day. And this smelled absolutely amazing. It performed very well. I've never ordered from Carol. I just really have not had the opportunity because every time I try, you know, it's not either she restocks when it's not like a pay, a pay week or something, or by the time I get on the site, everything's gone. So I've never ordered from her, but I have melted a few things and I've really enjoyed what I've melted. And the last thing that I have this week is Cookie Monsters Post from VCS, which is sugar cookie, sugar cookie dough, buttercream frosting, sugar milk, zucchini bread, vanilla bean noel. Amazing. This was um, a half of one of her vintage uh, roses. Cut it in half, put half in my living room, half in my kitchen. Performed very, very well. Um, I've been getting an amazing throw from her stuff since I moved, which makes me happy. So I've been really trying to focus on... Um, getting more of you know her stuff before she shuts down to you know work from home solely again and then it'll be cutthroat so I am going to focus on later this year um putting some money aside because I want to grab my favorites I have most of my favorites from her are bakery and fall so they're available most of the you know the bakery is available most of the year and then I want to get some money set aside for fall because I think I have like four or five cents from her that I need for fall. Um, for example, uh, Carnival of Souls is one of my top favorites. And then um, the Warren's blends, like Order of the Warren's, Warren's Visits Cookie Monster, those kind of blends. Um, I'd like to pick up a loaf or two in each of those. And then I have a couple bakery blends that I really like from her. A lot of strawberry, some fruity and fizzy. So I'm just going to pretty much see what she does. She's starting to do pre-orders again. So if we can focus on ordering pre-orders, um, that way there's no cutthroat, then that may, that'll make me happy as well. So, all right, I have rambled long enough, so I will let y'all go and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.